All right. So today on our final um, back-to-back three-part episode of three-part series of RPG Maker MV, today we're going to be taking a look at um, some general, uh, not general things, but we'll be taking a look at how to create our skills and our um, unique identifiers to our characters. So if we go in here and we click on our RPG Maker MV or wherever you have it. So open up where every file is and all that good stuff. So now we go into our database and as you can see we have Nick, Theresa, Marsha, and Lucius. Um, we could rename them to whatever we wanted to, but that's our starting party. We could go in and say classes. If you look at it, generally knights, warriors, mages, and priests. Okay, look at our knight. Now our knight generally doesn't carry a lot of MP. So we could say, um, generate a curve. We could say a quick settings. We could set these to quick and make it, you know, we're going to say, you know, our knights usually don't get a lot of MP. So, or zero MP to roughly, we'll say, we'll get roughly about five MP to roughly about 400. Okay, and the growth type is slow. Okay, that's kind of how it generally will look like. Is is that he does that our knight doesn't really get into a lot of thing. Um, our is magic defense. Um, we're gonna generally put at a lower generate at a lower curve. We're gonna generate that a little bit faster. But we're gonna do actually. I wanna go the the high route. But we're going to take our 220 and we're going to drop that down to about 200. And then we're going to increase that to about 25 at the start of the game. And we're going to do a little bit slower in terms of getting up there. So, you know, we're just generating a few things to make things our M attack. Um, generate a small, generate small curve at a slower pace. You know, our M defense doesn't really get a lot of that there in the first place. So, you know, we'll just go all the way down as far as we can go. Um, our knight's agility doesn't, knights usually don't have a lot of speed. So, we want to say, let's generate a curve. But we're going to generate at a lower generation. Um, we're going to drop down this to about a small rate. We're going to increase, drop that down by, down to one by two. It'll generate that same curve at a slower pace, but I don't want to do it too slow. I want to bring it a little bit slower just to make it look like a general curve. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's got some slight changes. Um, we can say that our max MP, our attack, our, our luck. Our luck is will generally will generate a curve and will generate it at a faster pace, but we'll keep it at its natural starting point. Point, okay? We're starting to actually, no, let's generate a curve. We're going to actually do 30 and we'll do a normal. And we'll generate it a faster curve. It'll start out a little bit lighter. Okay, our defensing. Now, knights generally have a lot of better defense. So we'll go with the slight A. Then we'll just generate a, um, a faster generation of a curve. But we're going to increase it to 25. Um, and we'll drop it down by two points. And we'll bring it generally a fast curve. Okay. It's not quite too fast, but its defense is a lot. Our attack. We're going to generate, we're going to keep our attack. We're going to increase that up by two points. We're going to decrease that by one. At level one, just once. Um, you can always modify this at a later time. Um, I think let's not go too fast for growth. We'll do a little bit there. Um, max MP um, will generate the curve is um, five three five zero. Um, I would that's reasonably paced out right. Um, but I think we're going to increase this by about 450, okay? 
it'll increase it a little bit of his HP, and it'll drop it down to where the HP is a lot lower in terms of getting up there. I want to generate it a little bit lower. And that's generally our good basis for our knight. Um, now, our warrior, um, I'm going to leave our warrior at its basic settings, except for its M defense. We're going to take it at a, at a D and E slate. We're going to generate a slower curve, but we're going to generate it at a slower curve, but we're going to increase that to about a 5. It'll decrease that down to about 100 and 100. Okay. Its M attack um, will generate its curve is going to be 0. 0. It's not going to have any M attack abilities. Our warrior, our knight has a little bit of that. I mean, as you can see, has a little bit of M attack. Because we might want to set up skills that kind of generate, use it in, as magic instead of regular base attacks. Um, now we take a look at our mage. Mage is generally warrior. I'm going to reduce its MP as well to zero, zero. Okay. Um, right, curve, zero, zero, and hit OK, hit OK. Zero, zero, OK, hit zero, zero, hit OK. It's going to have a one there, but it has zero MP, so it doesn't, because we're not going to use any of uh, our general thing. Now, now, let's say that we'll generate a larger curve for the attack, for the attackman. So we'll do a larger curve on the attack, and as you can see, our war actually our warrior is going to have the default generate default, but we're going to drop that down to about one seven four, and we're going to generate it at a slower pace for the guy to get his defenses. Um, we have that 138. Let's see what the D does. D is about 127. Um, let's go with E. Um, we'll drop this down to 100, but we'll keep that at 10. General 10. And we'll do it at a slower pace. Um, our max HP, we're going to generate the curve. We're going to re increase this to about 650 at the start. to start but we'll generate a lower curve as you go up. His agility, our warrior does not get a lot of defense but he will get this um, higher curve in terms so we'll go with a B. Um, we'll, we'll increase that to about 35 at start. We'll drop that down by 2 because I always like to keep things uniform. Then we'll go with a little bit faster speed. Our luck We'll generate a curve, we're going to keep it the normal, and we'll generate a slower curve. Not much, but you can tell that it's a lot slower in the um, values. So if we take a look at... Um, if you take a look at things generally at the... at the height, it, it's one, and it's pretty good for its luck, but it's got some, some timing where it does slightly go up a little bit, but it doesn't take a lot. Um, XP curve, I'm, I always keep the XP curve generally um, the same. I'm not, because basically, you know, it's, I want them to level up at the same rate, but you can always see the XP curve, you can always change these values. Um, you know, you know, that's just it. Now our mage, <coughs> now our pre, now our mage actually will tend to use a lot less defenses. We'll use a lot less defense. So we're going to drop that down to maybe a hundred and go at a slower pace. 
will do set close settings. The M attack is going to be a lot higher. Higher, so I'm going to use the high. Generate the curve there. We're going to generate a, not a super fast curve, but we'll generate a small curve. MP. We're going to generate. We're going to keep the curve at the there, but we're going to increase it by about two. And then we'll generate a little bit of a faster curve there. Max HP. We're going to generate. It's going to be about two. Now let's go with about 300. 100, and then let's go with one. Now let's go with block 500. 100 to kind of give that. Since it'll be a lot slower than getting HP, max HP. But you can see that you don't need to really keep your HP at a high rate or a low rate because. You know, you've got to think about your items. We're going to take a look at items in our next episode. I might change that, but, um, and our skills too. So we'll take a look at those in our, like now, as a priest. Now, a typical priest does typically use a lot less of an M attack. So we want to generate a lower curve. Not too much. We did take, um... Uh, generate a lower curve there for that. Um, M defense. Um, priest, I'll generate just leaving it the default settings with a little bit of a faster defense for that. Our general low defense will go at a slower pace for its defense. Um, its general attack. I'm going to use keep it there, but we're going to take it and we're going to drop this down to about 125. No, we'll actually we'll increase that to 150, but we'll its starting value is going to be five. So it, it's it's got a lot. Its attack is going to be literally mediocre. Um, actually, let's fall. We have 109 for M attack. Cancel for M attack. So. Being it a little bit higher isn't too bad. Um, max MP. We're just going to generate the curve and we're going to leave it here at a general fast pace. And I'll just do the MP here as well. We're going to follow. If we hit OK, we're going to go to Mage. We generate the curve 300, 5000. So we want to do that with our Priest as well. We're going to do, so we're going to actually put that one at 275. And we'll say we'll say four ninety four nine go five and we had a lot of slower HP in general. Doesn't matter. Um it The priest and the mage don't have much in terms of things. The knight does get a lot more of their HP, but you've also got to think about um, what's going. To, what are your items? What are kind of your weapons, your armor, your things like that? Um, we'll take a look at that here in the next episode. Um, but that's kind of generally how you take a look at our XP. I left the XP curve roughly about the same because I don't want to mess with that and don't want to make any assumptions. Now, we created our classes. Classes. Now, you see this skill down here? As you can see, as you can see, I want to get rid of, I want to delete that spark one and give it to mage, give it to the mage. Mage, and we're going to say you will learn Spark at level 1. Now, let's take a look at our skills. We're going to do, generally, as you can see, we have our attack, our guard, our dual, double, and triple attacks. Now, if we go to classes, and we say our warrior doesn't get anything right off the bat, well, let's give him that double, that dual attack. Okay, that, that boom, boom, boom. Warriors can do that double attack, but they will generally... Um, we'll say let's give it about level 5.
Okay, you might want to make sure that's changed. The dual attack will allow for that um, skill type will um, will not be magic. Um, we're going to create our skill type will actually be special. Okay. Um, knights will have our added skill type magic, but we'll also have our added skills type of special as well. But the knight doesn't get um, a few things. Now, generally, generally our priest is going to get that magic, but we're just going to get that white magic. Okay. <coughs> it's going to be that white. This one's going to have the Actually, let's let's do this one. Um, let's do this one. Let's call this one the Dark Mage, and then the the Light Mage and Slight Mage instead of the Priest. Light Mage. Now, that's generally what we've got here for classes and stuff. Um, now your items, you could probably change these. Okay, yeah, this looks kind of, we're going to keep that there, but you can kind of make it, like, however you want, make it price, sell. Um, we'll take a look at shops as well in the next episode, because we're going to take a look at how to create a city in terms of things. Um, we'll also take a look at our weapons here, current weapons, when we get to the, to the opportune chance and our armor and stuff. But just to let you know that they're there, um, if you guys did enjoy this um, small little little trailer or little group thing um hit that hit that like button if you want to stay up to date with all things gaming maddie rocks hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification because if you don't hit that bell notification you aren't going to get known when there is actually a new video up on the channel